Word, words are powerful. Don't get me all like deep with the Buddhism and, and, and the spirituality and stuff like that. I ain't about to get all into it. But the point is, I try to reserve the negativity. <laughs> all right. He ain't gonna be able to close the hood. Look, just, just like I said. Oh Lord. I was just about to say they got the little clamp on there. <laughs> yes, sir. Woo. I almost fell on this ice just now. Uh. Oh my God. So let me tell you what's going on. And let it run for a while before you kill it. I ain't gonna kill it at all today. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Woo. Right. You know, so, um, so this whole winter got me fucked up with all due respect to anybody who's watching this video who takes offense to cuss words and shit uh i'm sorry but uh this whole winter got me fucked up because i i don't even understand don't worry about this lip line don't worry about how retarded i look trying to put this lip gloss on when i'm talking don't worry about none of that anyways um so I normally don't make videos about like the the things that's going on with my truck or I try not to like make videos about me complaining, me bitching, me showing y'all the bill for anything like cause believe me this is not my biggest bill but I just don't make videos about that kind of stuff like I know they have a lot of like truckers on YouTube no offense to any truckers on YouTube too, on YouTube who do this I'm not talking about anybody specific or anybody particular but they have a lot of YouTubers that anything that goes wrong with their truck they make a video about it oh my god this happened oh my god that happened oh my god this happened oh my god oh my god fuck me my life is sucks trucking sucks and don't get me wrong i'm not good i'm not saying that i haven't made videos ranting and stuff like that but i'm gonna be real with you i do that for y'all for y'all entertainment because honestly i don't make videos about negative shit so anytime i do it's really because people are asking me for videos people hit me up on different uh social medias and stuff i don't know why my fingers just deep anyway people hit me up on different social medias and stuff like that they're like pink we miss you with your videos and i'm like i ain't got nothing to talk about <laughs> like i i really don't sometimes i just it's not that i can't talk about the things that actually happen in the trucking industry and stuff like that and it's not because i'm trying to give anybody like a fucking like filter view and think that the trucking is perfect or nothing like that i'm just very careful oh i try to be as much as i can careful about the words that i let escape my mouth when it's coming on youtube because they got thousands of people if not even if my video only gets a couple hundred views which most of my videos get thousands of views but even if i had a video that only got a couple hundreds of views that's still a couple hundred people who is taking in the information that I'm giving. And if I'm not giving, anyway, the point is, I try not to be negative because my shit is being viewed by people all over the world. And it's having an impact and, a, and an effect. You know what I mean? My word, words are powerful. Don't get me all like deep with the Buddhism and, and, and the spirituality and stuff like that. I ain't about to get all into it. But the point is, I try to reserve the negativity. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not to say, anyway. I feel like I just did all of that explaining and I still ain't even told y'all what the fuck going on. So anyways, I'm over here in Texas right now. <laughs> I feel like I just had to explain it before I really, you know. Anyway, so I'm over here in Texas, in Lubbock, Texas. And it, it, right now it's 19 degrees, but when I woke up, it was like negative one. Okay. Anyway, my truck wouldn't store. I opened the hood. It then lost prime, like it, uh, the fuel. And then I, st I took a closer look. I cleaned off my reservoir and I took a closer look. And along with my baby's help, we figured out that the fuel filter was, it wasn't because I just recently got a PM done like a month or two ago or something like that. The filter was not changed. And you know, it's a long shit, it, 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 it's a lot of shit. But basically I needed to change my fuel water separator uh, uh, filter and my fuel filter. So the regular, fuel filter and the fuel water separator filter i had water in my fuel water separator it was a lot it had ice in there and everything like it's cold as fuck okay so um anyway
truck lost prime or whatever like that. And as I was doing everything I can, I was priming it. And I'm pumping. I'm out there pumping it. <sighs> you know, looking crazy and shit. <laughs> I'm out there. I'm doing it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and uh, the shit is it because it happened to me yesterday as well. I get. I went out there. I pumped it. Boom! It started. I said, ah! I turned it off last night. When I tried to turn it back on this morning, it was like hell no. To the no, 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 hell to the no, hell to the no, it wouldn't start. So then I was like, I'm freaking out because I'm freezing and I'm like, what am I gonna do? You know, as I was trying to start it, it started like it, it, it was about to go on, and it did, it started this morning, but then it stopped. So I ended up having to spend three hundred and seventy-two dollars and seventy-two cents a day because I mean seventy-five cents a day because yeah, it just I couldn't get it to go. I couldn't get it to go no more because like you know, I, it just wasn't happening. So, anyways, I just kind of want to show y'all this video or whatever like that, just to kind of just because really I don't know why I'm showing y'all. I guess because this is my real life and this is really happening. But I'm not complaining. Although, I mean, yeah, this is never... Because I did it yesterday. I got my truck to store yesterday for free. Just by priming it. But then today, it needed a little bit more than that. And I couldn't because my batteries ended up dying. You know, because I was trying to start it for so long and shit. <laughs> my batteries ended up dying. So I needed... Uh, I couldn't even do it on my own no more. Because now, at this point, one problem created another problem. And I couldn't handle both problems at once. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I needed some help. So I had to call somebody out here to help. But, um, yeah, I just kind of wanted y'all to know. I don't know if I had a point or a conclusion or anything. I just wanted y'all to know what happened to Pink today. That was it. That's all. That's what happened. That's my life. But now the truck has started. I'm warm because I was sitting in the damn truck stop for like six. It took me like six hours to finally get here. And I was just in there looking homeless, just sitting up there drinking coffee in the subway. You know what I mean? Just sitting at the table with my charger and my phone, just looking like a person who doesn't have a home. Just looking crazy. Just looking But I'm past all of that. So anyway, um, yeah. Keep your, or I need to go in here. I'm about to go in here in a little bit. I might actually record it and let y'all see. But I'm about to go in here and get some of that little de-icer. Not, not de-icer. Uh, it's not called that. It's called uh, the stuff that you put in the fuel to prevent it from like freezing up and stuff like that. I'm going to get some of that and I need to get some shit to clean. I'm a, uh, I'm not a mechanic, so I forgot the, like the actual term of it. But anyway, the point is, I need some. I need to put some stuff in my tank today so that we don't have this problem no more. And well, actually, the problem that I had didn't really have anything to do with what I put in the tank. But anyway, the point is, I don't want no other problems. So I'm gonna go in and get some stuff to put in my tank. Oh yeah, there you have it. <laughs>